Hey guys, Lowsby45 here, um, sorry for the dogs yapping in the background, but, uh, here's a new Minecraft Let's Play. The other one kind of had a few issues, and, uh, it's actually 1.8 now, so I had to make a whole new world instead of, uh, just sticking with that one. But, this one, it's gonna be about 20 minutes per video, hopefully, and, uh, let's get started, I guess. So, uh, 1.8 brought a lot of cool stuff, um, I'm currently gonna get too many items installed again so that I can make more videos. I feel I'm extremely sorry for the dogs yapping. Uh, but, uh, you know, I have messed around a bit on the server, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, not the server, this map. I did, uh, quickly scan around the area so I got a view of what was to come and what I needed to do first for uh, success. Um,. I repeat, not all videos are going to have these dogs yakking in the background. This will help. If I have to be a trend, I can. They're chihuahuas, though, so, you know, that explains why. I could scream shit up, but that hurt your ears more, and that's not polite, so I'm not going to. But, uh, the biome at the moment is actually a really cool biome. We're on the edge of a forest, and we are actually, uh, what's it called? At the edge of a desert, also. So... Unlike most worlds, we're gonna get the best of both worlds, and, uh, we're gonna get splashed on both sides. And that will help a lot with a lot of stuff, and, uh, I'm hoping that will give us an advantage over the last world we got, which was a winter biome. I really like the lighting, how they've done this. It's very nice. If you look over there, you can kind of see it, how this grass is a tidbit greener than this one, and how all the way over there, the desert looks perfect for a desert biome. But, um, some new things that we're going to have to watch out for nowadays is this hunger bar. It is going to be a big pain in the butt to, uh, deal with. Because it is going to basically punch us in the butthole until we manage to get a supply of food constantly coming in. Which means we're going to have to get agriculture. Um, that's something I did learn from my history teacher. Thank you, Mr. Denova. You are actually useful for some things, I guess. He's watching this, I feel extremely bad for saying that. Um, you know, but uh, let's make sure that we um, I'm not really worried about getting a house at the moment because I can just dig a hole in the ground, make it four by four, and uh, cover it up with some dirt and then wait the night. And in all honesty, I'm playing on easy for until I get at least uh, the farm set up because the I don't know, I think the food after uh, food. Uh, hunger bar drains faster in the harder modes, and I, uh, I'm not exactly, I'm skilled, I know what I'm talking about when I play Minecraft, but I'm not like MLG Pro Minecraft Bro. I know a tip of redstone, just don't forget me by, and I know, uh, tidbit of other stuff. Uh, come here, aha, uh -huh. kill it, catch it, kill it. Ah, uh, there we go. Whew, two pieces of pork already. Another experience. Apparently in 1.9 these experience orbs are supposed to get uh oh crazy lag. Come here, come here. Yeah, animals uh not run away from you, so this is gonna be a fun episode of me chasing this darn oily pig. Apparently if you run at them, it hurts them more. Back your pig. Go kill yourself, pig. I hate you. So, uh, first off, let's build the app there, grills. Be like, if I don't kill this pig, tonight will be a night of very little survival. Tonight will be a night full of anguish. Are those dogs still seriously barking? Yeah, wow. Um, nope, nothing there. Nothing there. Okay, um, it's rather annoying. I don't know what's going on with them. Still. But, uh, there. So let's quickly dig a hole, because I know nowadays the night descends a lot faster than it did in the past. So, uh, here's what I was talking about with the hole method. I'm gonna get this going. And I mean, I can always incorporate this into a larger design. I mean, I can basically drain this out and make it a, uh, home at any time. See, this will provide me a good staircase for this whole home idea. And I just gotta do a bit of dirt building. 
So that'll be easy. Um. But you know, let's right now worry about uh, just keeping up with getting materials. Uh, I have a few goals in the series. My goal one is to get a stack of diamonds access from my a equipment I get. So if I do make diamond armor, I do want a stack of diamond, uh, just pure diamonds on the side of that. I don't want it with it, I want it on the side. That should provide a long term goal for this series, because I don't know about you guys, but finding diamonds isn't exactly my funnest thing to do. This tree. Holy oh, because it's another tree and it's connecting up there. That's pretty cool. Trees are a lot larger nowadays too. They used to be just this little tiny stubby thing you'd come in and get like three blocks of wood from and then you'd leave. But uh besides from that, I want to make a portal to the nether and I want to get a really large supply of nether blocks. And uh I want to set up a little base in the nether also. Um but I'm not sure exactly where that base in the nether will lead in the end, but I do want one for um, just the simplicity of having it, in case, because I know 1.9 is supposed to include a lot of stuff, and if you go to the Minecraft form page, which I can link if you want me to, um, you know, we can make it uh, 1.9 having nether bricks, it says, it's going to have NPCs, you know, maybe you may get to the point where nether villages come about, and they're full of zombie pigment NPCs that want to talk to you, maybe they're full of actual pigment NPCs that actually want to talk to you, that'd be a pretty cool thing, wouldn't it? Instead of it being zombie pigmen, you pigmen, and you can just come in and raid that whole village and uh, own the village of pigmen. You can have a really hard time if you own a whole village. That's another thing that kind of bothers me. I mean, in real life, but I guess this is a video game, so you shouldn't be comparing it to real life. But in real life, if you attack the village, everyone in that village would suddenly come after you. So I'm not sure exactly what's not just going to do with that, because I mean, I don't think. He's gonna think realistically, and I don't think he's gonna have that happen. But if he does, that'd be amazingly cool. Well, oh. first damage of the game. First damage of the game. Done while harvesting my cacti. And uh, for those of you who don't know why I'm only cutting the tops off, it's because uh, cacti. Ooh, there's some sugar cane. Cacti actually regrow if you cut uh, only the tops off. So as long as you're not standing too close to them, you're just fine with them. And, uh, cacti make the lime green dye. Sometimes I feel like my cacti destroy my cacti blocks, though. It kind of annoys me. There's just, like, one random dirt block standing out there. Oh my gosh. That is the most legit world building ever. Look at that, too. Is that... I didn't do this. This is just random. But it's amazing. Okay, night is coming upon us quickly, so... Let's get the sugar cane and, uh... Quickly run back. Where's the sun? I can't see the sun. I can't see the sun. There's nothing above me either. Is it, is it up there? Is it sun? Sun? Sold? Oh, great. Now I look around and I'm lost. Um. So here's nighttime. Um. It's very shiny. I'm gonna run back to my base. Come on. Not really need sauce to make it so you can double uh change which key so that I could like double tap space and it would give me running. Because double tapping W it's not the easiest thing to do. Okay. This is what I was talking about. Now it's like completely dark and I bet you can't see it all. But I can see it a bit. Let's go to my inventory here. Whoa, shift click nowadays destroys the whole thing and makes it into the lovely little stacks for you. Did not know that. Okay guys, so shift uh, shift holding down will uh do that for you. So nowadays you don't have to worry about that. Okay, let's get worrying about uh some utensils. So let's get some sticks. Whoa, holy cow, I just right clicked on it and it gave me a ton of sticks. You know we can make this all in sticks just for the sake of it. And then um let's get some tools here. Okay, there's that, and here's this. That should let me get some torches. Uh, we want to harvest this stuff in a bit, but for right now, that's not worried us. So, um, got quite a lot to do in goals wise. Did I finish my goals? I, no, I think I just ended with the obsidian portal. Um. Then we also want to get a large 
self-harvesting farm going, meaning I don't want to be like every night spending time worrying about a uh, whether or not I'm going to have food like I am tonight. Tonight I'm worrying about if I have enough pork to last me for 10 minutes of gameplay, which is a night cycle.